So what got me interested in particle physics in general? Um, you know, I started off just liking the techniques of math and puzzle solving and things like that. I guess it, I wanted to do something a little bit more related to the world, understanding the universe around us. I mean, it's what I do is abstract, but it's still in principle um, will ultimately tell us about the fundamental way that the world works, the universe works. And I like the idea of doing something that had some permanence to it. If you had some result, it would be something that would survive into the future. Um, but I wasn't really certain in the beginning this is what I would do, but um, it certainly seemed like if I was going to try it, I would start off that way and then see how it goes. And, and it, but I think it's partially liking the kinds of things I do. I also like, um, since I do theoretical work, I can s probably move around more than if I had one big lab and experiment. And it allows me to think about ra issues ranging from cosmology, dark matter, to more formal issues, more mathematical, to more related to experiments. and. I can do my work anywhere, so there's a flexibility in it and flexibility of ideas that I like a lot. Well, you know, the actual teach classroom teaching is usually less related to research. Um, to some extent, you're getting your graduate students up to speed when you're teaching a graduate course so that they know about what's called the standard model of particle physics, what, ex what we know about the basic elements of matter, but also how you go beyond that, and also the techniques that you use to do that, quantum field theory, for example which combines together quantum mechanics and special relativity. Um, so, and I, I've also taught freshman seminar, which is a lot of fun. Um, and, you know, it's, it's, both, it's interesting both for people who want to do physics and those who don't, because it might be their last uh, course telling them some, so about some real science going on in the world. But it also, for people who ultimately want to do physics, it sort of tells them where it's all going, because you're not going to get that necessarily in your freshman physics class. So kind of what the big picture is. So that's also fun. Well, um, it was called The Universe's Hidden Dimensions. And um, in the beginning, it was based more on my first book, Warp Passages. I mean, I put a lot of work into really organizing just how where we are in physics today and how we got there, the different strands of sort of what happened in 20th century physics, general relativity, quantum mechanics, how it led into particle physics, the questions we're trying to answer today. Um, I have a second book now and I combine some of the ideas where I talk more about the Large Hadron Collider and experiments and sort of more of the themes that go into scientific thinking, um, just what it really means, how it works in practice, give people a better sense of what science is really about, both in terms of the actual physics of the universe but in terms of the techniques that are used in understanding. And that is also one of the reasons it's sort of nice to have this other thing of writing books because the kind of work I do is rather esoteric. Um, you know, I've done important work in the field and I'm recognized by my peers, but it's hard to convey that as much to a, a, a general populace. So, I mean, there's some interest in what we do, but there's also um, just a general way of sci thinking scientifically that I think is really important. And I think it's important for scientists to, to have a voice, um, to say just how you can interpret questions in terms of data, in terms of statistics. And as I said, today, the frontier energy scale is 10 to the minus 19th meters, an even smaller distance scale. Um, it turns out it's a really interesting distance scale because it's very likely to answer some very fundamental questions, which I'll tell you about in a minute. So I think it's both the science itself. I think there are a lot of people who just want to know about the universe. I mean, the excitement last December when it wasn't even a real discovery of the Higgs boson, but so many people were interested in knowing what it is that's being discussed, what it is that's being found. You know, and the idea that we really are making a true advance in, in our understanding, in addition to um, using the scientific method, both for questions dealing with science and policy issues, but just in general to think a little more scientifically.